Solarity, Episode 3, Radio Interference. Fucking A! What a lovely landing. Surprise it didn't kill me on impact. Hey, God! Ain't gonna kill me that easy! I'm probably nowhere near base. What is this? Is this... artificial land? Fuck me, did I land on Saturn? Figures this would happen to me. Stupid piece of trash! Captain, do you read me? Maria? Alex? Brian to dispatch, do you read me? Yes. Thank fuck. My escape pod crash landed on an unknown planet. Sorry to hear that, Brian. I can't reach my crew. I need you to send someone out here to get me back to base. Unfortunately, all resources allocated to your mission have been suspended. Feel free to make your way back on your own accord. Cut the crap. I can't come back because I don't have anything to take me back. So send a ship out here. I'm afraid we can't do that. I'm not in the mood for whatever game you think you're playing. Send a ship, or you're going to be in deep shit. Are you gonna radio your friends back home? Have them put me in my place. Don't be ridiculous. I'll just radio Remy. No, you won't. Why wouldn't I? Before you embarked on your mission, my men and I made sure to tweak some things on the emergency suits as a safety net. Like what exactly? Like, I can remotely control any radio communications you have. If you don't believe me, you can try calling someone else. Here's the deal. I'm a member of the Comet Corporation. I'm starting to see that. I have a certain request of you. But first, your wife. What's her name again? Delia, right? What does she have to do with this? She's very pretty. You lucked out. She misses you very much. Yeah, I'm sure she does. How did she feel when you left her, right after you got back? How many people had to suffer because of what you told us? That was a long time ago. One? Two? Hell, your entire squadron ended up paying the price. Do you ever wonder what happened to them? I've made peace with what I've done. I'm sure the rebel side wasn't too pleased to have a snitch among them. What do you want from me? Ease it up, tough guy. I'm getting there. Let me set the stage for you. A husband comes back from an intergalactic war. Immediately after, he leaves for an expedition. His wife, barely having been able to spend any time with her husband, stays alone, waiting for his return. She's left unattended. No. Unprotected. No! Alone. Delia! As long as you do what I say, she'll be safe in our care. What do I need to do? Well, Brian, I'm glad you asked. Peaches, green beans, peanut butter, lemonade mix, and orange drink? Hmm. We could last, I'd say, a solid 15-ish days with what I could find, but after that point, we'd need to start rationing. Oh, and uh, here's your knife. I didn't have to use it or anything, so that was nice. Elias wasn't on board. He probably had a vehicle stashed away somewhere on the ship. It would have been hard to sneak that on the ship, don't you think? Someone back at base must have known about it. That's what I was thinking. How is it that he got through the vetting procedures? How did he get something on board without any suspicions arising? We were the organization's primary objective, after all. All eyes were on us all the time. You think there's another spy? I think the organization isn't as secure as it should be. Hmm. Should be more careful about sharing information with Sophia. Sophia? Who's that? An agent at dispatch. The same one we talked to when it all went down. We have a... Beneficial relationship as it stands. She's supposed to activate the mosquitoes for us. Activation code received. Speaking of which... Oh! 
fuck! Uh. Oh no. Captain? Captain? Jamie? Oh no, 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 no. Jamie! Oh my god, your leg! Come on, idiot. Snap out of it. She needs your help. So calm down before you kill her. I've got to move you somewhere with better oxygen circulation. Good. She has a pulse. That's good. That's good. It's labored. Keep breathing, even if it's hard, Cap. Hang on. I'll get you through this. This is the easy part. First, I've got to slow the blood flow with pressure. Moving you must have shifted the object. It shouldn't be bleeding this much. Look, Captain. If you can hear me, you can pull through this. Whatever you do, you see a white light, you run in the other direction. You run so fucking fast. Oh god, it won't stop. I really don't want to do this. Captain, you can't die. I don't want you to die. I have to amputate. Why did this happen? It's just one bad thing after the other. <sighs> Fuck. It's good to be home. Ah, fresh air. Can't even compare it to the filtered crap. Do you see Brian anywhere? Does it matter? Of course it does. He was supposed to land near us, wasn't he? I don't see him. I'll try radioing him. Nah, he's probably fine. Brian? Come in, Brian! The line's dead. Do you think he's... He was probably just knocked off course or something. I hope so. I don't know what I tell Delia. They can't keep giving us faulty equipment like this. Like, I get we're underfunded, but it's endangering our safety. It's hard to get equipment in general, Mary. Just be grateful for what we have. I know, but I have the right to complain. I promise the captain. Poor Brian. Poor us. We're gonna have to be the ones to break the news to their families. Thinking of Paige's little sister is already breaking my heart. I don't think I'm strong enough for that. I can do it. I couldn't ask that of you. You should just go home and rest. It's my responsibility too. It's better I do it anyways. You'd probably start crying at their doors. I'm impartial. Didn't really talk to them that much anyway. If you insist. And you don't have to lie. I know you're gonna miss them. Remember when he used to play card games with Neil? He was the only one who could hold a poker face. <laughs> I should probably find Remy. Oh, right. Forgot about him. Tell the sociopath I said hi. Goodbye, Mark. Dexter! Oh. Captain? Oh, you're awake. Thank Christ. I thought I killed you. My leg is throbbing. What happened? The mosquitoes exploded. They sustained damage from the crash, and when they were activated... How long have I been out? It's been four days. F four days? Why did you let me sleep that long? Captain, I'm so sorry. <sighs> Don't be. 
We wasted a lot of precious time already. No use dwelling on the time we've lost. We're gonna have to find another way of the ship now that the mosquitoes aren't an option. Alex? What are you looking at? Oh! That is... something. It's just gone? If only I'd been a better doctor. No, no, I... I can't be surprised. I knew the risks when I came out here. I guess... losing a limb is better than dying. You're not upset? Oh. I'm furious. At who? It doesn't matter. Do you feel anything else? Not particularly. I have to stay strong for the mission. For my crew. <laughs> there is no more crew, Captain. There's you. You're right. There is me. I'm the only one still here, and I can't fight or keep you safe. Look around you. We're on a broken ship, all alone in the middle of space. Everyone either left or died. Alex, stop. I'm not even a certified doctor. I dropped out my junior year, and I've managed to slide by in the organization because nobody's really gotten hurt. But when it's my time to step up to bat, this happens. If I was useful, I could have removed the medal. People survive shit like that all the time back home. I just fucked it up. I fucked up. Cut the self-hatred crap. I don't want to hear it. But it's true! I'm a coward and a waste of space. And I couldn't keep you safe. Alex, stop. Look at me. You're too good a crew member to be thinking of yourself in that way. But I'm not- You act like you're only here as a medic. You're here for more than that. You're also my right hand. You chose to stay by my side even though you wanted to run. Even though I told you to run. Do you know how much balls that takes? And look, I'm alive. Would I have preferred to still have my leg? Yes. But am I going to complain now that it's gone? No, I'm not. Don't dwell on the past. Deal with the present instead. Fuck. You're right. I'm sorry. I shouldn't make this all about me. I feel like this has been a long time coming for me anyway. I've had so many close calls in the war. How reckless I was. It's a shock something like this didn't happen sooner. You never talked about your time in the war before. Why is that? I want to start heading out. Whoa! No! The wound isn't fully healed yet. You shouldn't get out of bed. It usually takes about four to eight weeks to- Stop! Are you trying to make it worse? We don't have enough food for four weeks. We've already wasted four days worth of supplies. We're on a time crunch to get to the next planet, and we have to find a means of transportation. Does it sound like we have time to wait for me to fully heal? Maybe not fully heal, but can't you stay a little longer? I think you know my answer. Then wait. You should take this first. I tailored it with some supplies lying around. I figured you wouldn't want an extra pant leg floating on your suit. So, you were able to think ahead. Nice job, Alex. Come on, we don't have time to waste. Is it easier to hover? It's a little wonky, but I can get used to it. It's better than trying to hobble. Holy... This was ground zero. Looks like it. What's the chance anything we can use survived? I'd say zero percent. But who knows? I haven't ventured in here since the explosion. Wow. Look at this one. It's demolished. All of them are. Let's keep looking. Do you know anything about mechanics? Not particularly. <sighs> I didn't think so. Me either. We'd have no way of reassembling anything then. We could try to hover to the next planet, but that's basically impossible. It would take way too long. We'd die from starvation. Plus, we'd have no way of navigating. We need Mark to help us fix one of these. Have you tried contacting any of our crew in the past four days? Yeah, when you were out. All I got was static. 
I think the chief probably installed shitty radios or something. No, I don't think so. The emergency suit models are quite good. And I know for a fact the radios are built into the suits, not added afterwards. What do you think is wrong, then? I can't say for sure. It could be interference from a third party, or something could have happened to everyone else. Let's hope that's not the case. So what do we do? What if we... sent out a distress call? An alert comet? Count me out. Now wait a minute, I might be onto something. If we limit the range of the distress call, it should alert the comet ships patrolling this region of the galaxy. They usually patrol in teams of two, so if we keep the range of the call short, we can prevent any other ships from catching it. Then, we hijack a ship and get out of Dodge. What do you think? Your plan is Grand Theft Auto? If you have a better idea, I'm all ears. Then it's settled. Let's get that call out there. I'm gonna go try to pry open the armory. I feel a lot better with a weapon at my side. Alex reporting. Captain, the first ship has been sighted on sonar. Roger. The armory's still closed. Its entrance has concaved upon itself. It looks like a lost cause. That's not great. You still have your knife. That I do. I'll be there in five. He's getting close. What model is his ship? I'm not sure, but he doesn't seem to have any weapons built into it. We should be safe from long range. It looks like a Jaguar model which would explain the speed at which it's approaching. They don't have any weapons unless installed separately. Any eyes on the second ship? None. Not even on sonar. Peculiar. I thought they'd both converge here. Should we be worried? I'm not sure. It's getting close. Jaguar in T-10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4... Three, two, one. It's here. Hello. I'm jacking your ship. Okay, I know you can't hear me, but I'm gonna need you to get out. Why are you doing this? Captain? How did you get on our channel? I just want to get home to my family. Don't hurt me. This isn't personal. We just need your ship. Comet can send you a new one. They have plenty. Don't kill me. I'm not gonna kill you if you get out of the ship. Captain! Alex, what is it? There's another ship on the radar. It's heading in our direction. Why you? We knew it was a rebel ship once we got the distress call. We're the only ships deployed this far out. It's a panther model! You son of a bitch! Comet will eradicate all you rebel scum. You stand in the way of development. You make me sick. How about I slit your throat to get you to stop talking? No! Captain, don't hurt him! But I really want to. Just get his ship and let's go before... Hurry! You're lucky. Comet is our future! We're heading towards Saturn. Captain, your leg! Shit! There's a towel in the bag. I can handle this. You have to go rest. You haven't had nearly enough time to heal. I am feeling a bit tired. Maybe we should go to Jupiter. They can treat any infections I accrue. No. Saturn was the right call. If we go to Jupiter, he'll die on the way there. I'm inputting it into the ship. Whatever you do, do it now or we're dead. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna take a little nap. You've been listening to Celerity. Written and directed by Victoria Caracchetti. Intro music by Evan Nobler, starring Victoria Caracchetti as Jamie, Carlo Daniega as Alex, Umi Fusion as Sophia, Isabella Del Rio as Maria, Rowan Farlow as Mark, Cameron Raleigh as Brian. Additional voices by Aaron Ralph and Vicky Hennis. <laughs>